Ladies and gents, NDTV here with some more Pokemon training card game. Last episode, we dueled Murray, beat him, and got the very last Master Medal that we needed. So we have all eight. This episode, now that we have all eight, we're in the Pokemon Dome, and now we can challenge the Grand Masters. This is it. This is the end of the game. I'm actually pretty excited. Only those who have won all eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have won all eight Master Medals. Enter the Grand Hall. And we have some pretty grand music here. In the Grand Hall, where the Grand Masters are. Let's just step up here. Possessor of all eight Master Medals. Enter the dueling stage. However, you will be unable to turn back. This is a lot like fighting the Elite Four in the actual Pokemon games, where once you step onto the challenge, you can't go back. And I'm ready. Let's go. In that case, enter the dueling stage. Welcome to Pokemon Dome. I am Rod, leader of the Grandmasters, and this is Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen. Grandmaster of Lightning, Thunder Steve. Grandmaster of Ice, Gentlemanly Jack. We are the four Grandmasters who guard the legendary Pokemon cards. If you can defeat all of us, then you will have earned the right to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Ralph, take your place at the table. This is it. Our first opponent will be Courtney. And from Professor Mason's email, we got tipped off that she uses the legendary Moltres card. And her title is the Fire Queen. She uses a fire deck. So, to counter this, I am using... My Squirtle and Friends deck, which I have modified quite a bit. Yep, Squirtle and Friends deck, which is the first deck I ever used in this game for this Let's Play. I don't remember if it was the first deck I used in general for this. But, uh, yep. Let's just do this. And her deck is the Legendary Moltres deck. And her Moltres card... Yeah. It's actually very good for her deck because... Is she gonna play it? No, she's not. That's kind of strange, actually. Um, she has this Moltres card. It's not the legendary Moltres card. Oh, okay then. I was kind of expecting to see the other, the other Moltres. Maybe this turn. Nope, that's Magmar. Stop with the potions. You're not allowed to use cards that help you. That's against the rules. Good ma'am. Can't say good sir. At least you're paralyzed, because I don't want this thing to confuse me, because that means there's a chance I could hit myself and knock myself out, because Ghastly is weak against Psychic. Okay, are you going to play your, your Moltres card? Or what? You know what? Let's do this. Uh, where are you? Mew could be helpful, because I added that into my deck. And I did replace the uh, my other gas card with this one, because it can do the paralysis thing. Squirtle. Go there. And let's paralyze you. Okay, let's not paralyze you. Okay, lesson learned. Not paralyzing things. Are you... Are you ever going to play your other Moltres card. I mean, we are here to see the legendary Pokemon cards. If you're not going to use them, then... Oh well. Ooh, Pokemon Trader. Squirtle, I will trade you in for Wartortle. Where are you, Wartortle? You are not here. Oh wait, no, there you are. I saw you. For a second there, I thought I was going crazy. Okay then. Paralyze, not paralyze you, okay. I'm not cool with that. And you're not playing your Moltres card. What gives? I I came here to see giant flaming birds. Okay then, potion. Blastoise, you do your thing. Because I need to stock up on some water energies here. Or not. Okay, Magmar, you don't need that. Poliwag, you are there. 
and I'll evolve you next turn. Don't you worry. Um, hmm. Huh. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna risk it. Also, please do not evolve your Vulpix into Ninetales. I don't appreciate that. Oh, hello. I appreciate getting the Switch card. I, I just need some uh, water energies, please. You know what? Let's just confuse you. Actually, no. You're gonna be knocked out. Thank you, Lapras. You're very helpful. Water energy. I like that. Are you gonna use Flamethrower? Yeah. Okay, what gives, Courtney? I want to see your Moltres card. Um, you have five cards in your hand. No, only one card in your hand. Okay, so you're just not drawing it. Oh, uh, Ghastly, you can take that. Thank you, Rain Dance, for giving me the ability to play multiple water energies. And for being able to help me knock out this Magmar. Okay, Moltres, you're not weak to anything, right? Um... Ghastly, you can take that. Just in case, I'll confuse you, because I like confusing things. No, that's not Moltres. It's not the Moltres I came here to see. Come on, come on, Courtney. You can do better than that. You are the first Grandmaster. And I'm not even acknowledging the fact that this... Uh, this song is exclusive to the Grandmasters, and it's a pretty good song. I don't need those. Okay then, water gun. Another water energy, I like that. Okay, Growlithe. Last, I don't have... You have no cards in your hand and I don't have any trainer cards. Well, now I have a trainer card, so, uh, ha ha ha, screw you. Uh, let's go with Bill. Okay, then, Water Gun. Knock out Growlithe. Wow, you know, Courtney can be really challenging sometimes, but in this case, not really. Huh. You know what? Let's, I just want to see her use her Moltres card. Is that too much to ask for? Oh, please don't confuse me. You confused me. I don't like that. Okay. Where's... Dugong, you're there. You're a thing. Um... Dugong, you can take that water energy. I'm not gonna risk it because I kind of want to see the Moltres card first off, so I'm kind of stalling. At Like, I'm stalling when I'm dueling one of the Grandmasters. That doesn't happen that often. I don't need Lapras. I don't need a fighting energy either. So, you know what? Where's Haunter? I'm gonna do this. Haunter, you can be a thing. Please play your Moltres card. Come on, Courtney, where's your Moltres card? Come on, Courtney, where's Kenny Gengar? Let's use Curse. Oh, I can't use Curse, okay. Where's... Honestly, come on, Courtney. I mean... This is probably a bad idea, just stalling like this, but I really want to see the stupid bird. That's... play your stupid bird. Because I want to see your stupid bird. Seal, why not? Oh, hello, Mew. Why not? Come on. Energy removal on Gengar. Oh, okay then. Where, where is the Moltres? I saw one Moltres. I didn't see the other. Water energy on you, and the psychic energy can go on Gengar. Come on, I'm giving you like this is 
I don't know what to say about this. Like, like I really want to see the Moltres card. Like, I could, I should be doing the smart thing and just finish off Courtney. But no, I'm being stubborn here. I have 13 cards in my hand. I think in the later on in the actual card game, you can't have more than seven cards in your hand. I think. I don't know. I, I just might be talking out of my ass or something. Bill, please? No, that's nine tails. Okay then. Um, please don't do that. Hey, I can actually use uh, the, the Gengar's curse attack. Not like I'm going to. You know what? Since that's an evolved Pokemon, let's put Mew out there. Um, Blastoise, you can take that. Oh. Okay. Let's paralyze you then, I guess? Oh, fun fact, that Ninetales card is misspelled, because the Tails part should be T-A-L-E-S. Fun fact. Energy removal, okay then. Where, where is, where is the thing? I don't know, but this is kind of annoying me, so I'm just gonna keep on shocking this Ninetales until you play your stupid bird. Hello, Bill. That's not the stupid bird. That's not the stupid bird either. Hello, Hitmonchan. Um, why not? Fighting energies on you. Th I think Hitmonchan is the only rock slash ground slash fighting card in this deck now. Thanks to all the modifications I made. Okay, what are you gonna do now? Because, yeah, you can't really do it. Oh, hello, Polyrath! Fun fact, I like Polyrath more than Politoed, even though Politoed is better competitively at this point, because Drizzle is a thing. I'm not even talking about the duel now. Super Potion. Okay, then. Just play your stupid thing. Play your stupid bird. I swear. And I don't swear that often. That's not your stupid bird. Um, hello, fighting energy. You can go on Hitmonchan. I mean, if this... If you don't play your bird by the time I am out of cards, I'm just gonna wipe you out with whatever else I have. Five cards left. Okay, you have a countdown, Courtney, until I see your bird. So what are you gonna do about this? You're not gonna play your bird. You have... Whatever. Let's just, uh, do that. And let's use Curse. Why not? Volpix, you take ten... Oh, wait, that's not how... I forgot how Curse works. My fault. Oh, yeah, the way Curse works is you move one damage counter to another. That's right. Are you ever gonna satisfy my will wishes, Courtney? Because if not, then I'm just gonna wipe you out with my small little Mew. Oh, hello, Ghastly. This is kind of embarrassing, Courtney. Okay. Uh, water energy on you. Why not? Okay, Courtney, this is pretty much your last chance. Play it? No. The cards in my deck and hand are shuffled. Okay, then. Um. Well, since you don't have your stupid thing, I'll just say what the Moltres card does then. Moltres, the legendary Moltres card, what it does is its ability, once you play it, it's called Fire Giver. 
the game chooses a number uh, chooses a number between one and four, then you get that many fire energy cards from your deck. The stupid thing is you have to sit through some boring animation watching your you get fire energies. But yeah, that would be good for her deck because fire energies are a thing and it, she has a lot to fuel her Pokemon. But whatever, let's just wipe you out. Didn't get to see the Moltres card, but whatever. And I could have ended it off earlier, like ended off this duel, but oh well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I lose. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Just go away. Very good, Ralph. Your second opponent is Lightning Steve or Thunder Steve, right? Yeah, Thunder Steve. And between duels here. We get to prepare. So we get to do things like switch decks and whatnot, which I will be doing. Because I made a ground deck for this. So let's uh, do that. Also, I'm um, gonna save. Okay, I saved and my deck is indeed ready. Don't know how my ground deck is gonna do because I haven't tested it yet, but whatever. Yep. Steve has a legendary Zapdos deck. And in my opinion, Steve is... Eh, he could be more threatening, but my Pokemon resist all of his electric attacks, so... That's a thing. Energy search, because why not? More energies are good. Yeah, there's a lot of energies in this here deck. And why not? Let's snivel. Okay, are you gonna play your legendary card, Steve? Um, hmm. Yep. Okay, Zapdos level 68 with Peel of Thunder. When you put Zapdos into play during your turn, not during setup. Also, Moltres' Fire Giver doesn't work during setup. Does 30 damage to a random Pokemon, not counting Zapdos. Which means it could affect any of my Pokemon or any of Steve's Pokemon. And of course, it hit my Cubone. But I resisted it, so that's a thing. Wait, actually, hold up. That's not... Yeah, don't apply weakness and resistance to... Why would it do a 10 to me, then? Huh. That's kind of weird. Oh, well. Um... What? I don't need to use energy removal, because I'm just going to knock it out here. And... Fighting energy. Kind of don't need that right now. Ooh, Sandshrew. That's good. Yeah, the problem here, though, is his Zapdos card resists the whole fighting ground rock type. So I'm kind of at a standstill right now. Um, let's see, what are you going to do? Eevee. Okay, then. Can I get a gust of wind here? Ooh, wow. Perfect timing, actually. Eevee, I can do that. Energy removal on Electrode. Um, Sandshrew, you can take that. And plus power, because I'm gonna have enough damage to take this thing out. Ooh, I like the Pokeball card. As long as it helps me. If it doesn't... Ooh, yeah. I have a double colorless energy in here, because... This deck isn't exclusively ground Pokemon, because, I mean, it is. there is a lot of ground Pokemon, but there's also things like a Lickitung here. There's even a, the Dragonite family here. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab Lickitung, because Lickitung could be handy. So let's just put that on you. Uh, let's retreat, I guess. Uh, Supersonic, just in case. Oh, I need to also go over what Zapdos' attack is, because that's a thing. Zapdos can be painful. Zapdos has Big Thunder. Very scary sounding attack. And it does 70 random dam- or 70 damage to any random Pokemon on the field. Not counting Zapdos. So any of my Pokemon or any of his Pokemon, and it doesn't apply, um... To weakness and resistance to the active Pokemon, I think. And any other effects that would happen after applying weakness and resistance still happen. 
cool. You know what? Let's just tongue wrap this thing. This is level 68. That's uh, high level Zapdos. What are you gonna do now? Just gonna do that. Oh, hello, Sand Slash. I can use you. I put too many energy on Sand. True, whatever. Let's just tongue wrap this thing. Do you enjoy my saliva, Zapdos? I hope you do. I don't like your potions. This is gonna be quite the long video. Whatever. Look at all those fighting energy cards. Cubone, you can use that. And I just wanna take care of this stupid bird. Are you gonna play another Zapdos? Cause I think... I believe the Grandmasters have multiple birds, or multiple legendary cards, because that's a thing. And you're, you're fueling up your Zapdos, which is kind of not good, because I don't like Big Thunder. Marowak, hello you. Yes, let's evolve you. Um, yeah, I have enough energy for that. So Hitmonchan, you can take that, and Tongue Wrap, because saliva is yummy. Don't quote me on that, please! Ooh, I'm kind of running out of cards here. And I probably should have used that Fighting Energy on Hitmonchan, but whatever. Maybe I can actually get Dragonite out onto the field. That would be cool. Then you need one more energy to use Big Thunder. I don't like that. Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, tongue wrap. No, okay. Oh wait, you know you're paralyzed. Why am I saying no? You only have 50 more HP left. Oh, hello computer search. I will save you, actually. Okay then. 40 more HP left. And now you have enough to use Big Thunder, so I have enough reason to fear for my life now. So, Tongue Wrap? Sure, this is gonna hurt. Actually, no, Big Thunder, I'm hoping it hits one of his Pokemon. Just like that, goodbye, Electabuzz. Thank you for screwing yourself over like that. Okay, Tongue Wrap here. Paralyze, nice, and then I can knock it out next turn with the plus power. Unless you switch or use a healing item card. Wow, this is going by pretty fast. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but whatever. Tongue wrap. And you are down, Zapdos. Okay. Energy removal, I like that. Oh, hello, Electrode. You are gonna hurt me with your sonic boom. But I will be hurting you. Why did I use that? Whatever. I will be hurting you with my Sand Slash. Let's use that. Boom. Okay. Boom. That's 80 damage right there. Goodbye, Electrode. And I pretty much have this one, actually. I just need one more good hit here. If you don't paralyze me, you paralyze me, I hate you. Why? Why did you do that to my poor defenseless sand slash? Except it's not defenseless. It could do things. Whatever, screw you. Oh, hello, Jolteon. Tails? Perfect. Okay, goodbye. You. Uh, why am I prolonging this? I don't need to. Heads! Heads. And heads. Overkill to the max. Doesn't matter though, cuz... I win! Oh, hello Sand Slash again. Yay! Hello Steve. Or goodbye Steve, really. You're the winner! You're the greatest! With that skill, I feel we can give you the legendary Pokemon cards. And our next opponent is going to be Jack. 
Yep, I, Jack, am your third opponent. You shall not be able to defeat my Splendid deck. Come on, I shall prove it to you. But, I will save that for the next episode. So, yep, we did quite a bit here. We took down the first two Grandmasters, and the next episode, we're going to be taking down the last two. So, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon trading card game. Later!